Welcome to Provo's Profiles. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to having this conversation. So first, let me congratulate you on earning first place in the Excite Talks competition. For viewers who are unaware, what's that competition and what was your project? The Excite Talks is basically an opportunity at UH to give an elevator pitch about your co-curricular activities. Last year, I was looking for an opportunity that was both undergraduate research and study abroad. I found that specific opportunity in Switzerland. I was like, you know, it's a great place to you know, go hiking. They have good chocolate. So maybe, you know, I'll take advantage of that while I'm there. I learned about how Swiss work culture puts more of an emphasis on work-life balance. And so I was able to take those lessons and incorporate them into what I do now. And so it's helped me a lot with my research and also like with my overall life as a student and you know, studying. You grew up uh, near another major Texas university. We're not going to mention the <laughs> name of that university, but you chose the University of Houston. Can you tell us what inspired you to become a cougar? I think one thing that UH does really great is in community health. Organizations like Honors in Community Health, there's also initiatives like community health workers. We also have our med school now, so and they do a lot of great work in the community and a lot of, they have a lot of internships and opportunities for students to enjoy. I have four younger siblings and we all have like dreams of doing a lot of higher education or some kind of graduate school. So when I saw that package from UH, I was like, that coupled with being near the medical center, I think that was a great combination. You've gained some really incredible undergraduate research experience here at UH. Can you tell us a little bit about your work? I first applied to the UH HERE program, which is like an introductory two-week research program. And so I was able to get some of the basics of reading literature and also learning about new topics and finding a research topic. I did research at Houston Methodist during the summer, like two years ago. And so from there, I did research on strokes. I was able to learn a lot of different techniques and find out like whether I liked research or not. And so clearly I did. Undergraduate research is really important. You've described how important it is to you. What advice do you have for other students, our, our current or future Cougars, who are contemplating working on, on a research project? Have the confidence or trust in yourself that you'll be able to adapt to any situation. Because when I was applying for those programs, I clearly remember moments where I was like, do I really want to apply? Am I really going to get this opportunity? Like there's a little bit kind of fear or like uncertainty. I had a lot of help from people like I think Orma gave a lot of help on my feedback on essays and my professors were really supportive and getting advice and also writing letters of recommendation. And so I just am really grateful for that and all those opportunities. You're on a pathway to becoming a physician scientist. And I know you're going to reach that destination. You're going to get there soon. Where do you see yourself professionally 10 years from now? 10 years. Tell me about 10 years. Wow. <laughs> Before I was like, oh, should I be just a PhD or should I just be MD? But now I see a path that can combine both. And I'm specifically interested in the intersection of neuroscience and immunology. And so hopefully like by then, maybe I'll be able to have like my own lab and also do research in that lab, of course, on neuroimmunology, but also be a good clinician. And so I hope to like straddle those two worlds. All right, now we've got some speed round questions. <laughs> okay, Great. yeah. Favorite professor? Let's say Dr. Sharp. I took science communications with her this past semester, and I've really grown my skills in research and also just like my, my enthusiasm for it, as well as my understanding of its impact. Favorite place on campus? Oh, Cougar Grounds. No, great coffee, great place to have conversation. Yeah. Absolutely. What is your favorite thing about UH? The potential to grow and pursue opportunities. I think there's just so many different ways that you can pursue opportunities, so many um, programs that UH has. And also, since it's a growing university, there's so many ways you can start your own initiative. So I think just like having that potential is really nice. Excellent. You didn't know that at the beginning, though, right? No. <laughs> it's clear to me that you've got a great skill set and uh, you can accomplish whatever you want to do. So I look forward to seeing where you are in five years and 10 years. Oh, thank you. So thanks so much for being on Provost Profiles. Enjoyed the conversation. And, and again, I look forward to hearing more about what you're doing in the years ahead.